what's going on YouTube starting a new series here it's gonna be called first generation farm we're gonna have four family members here you got Mike here in the white ram you got Frank in the blue Silverado high country you have Josh here in the 06 Chevy Duramax and then you got Doug in the 96 Silverado 1500 Z71, of course. Uh, this is going to take place on Flint Hills map. Um, I, I like the ruralness. It also has a little small town for a little bit of role playing. It also has corn drying, which I think uh, should be part of every map. I definitely think it adds to the realism. So with the series, we're going to use a bunch of different mods. Sometimes we're not going to be using the mods properly. Whatever, it happens. Make this, for the most part, realistic. So these four family members, they put their money together, they have about $430,000. Um, with that, obviously loans will be taken out loans to get the business started, the farm started. So we're looking for, here. up here is kind of the uh, small town area. Uh, you also have the shop up here, I believe it's John Deere dealer. So we're gonna look for some, uh, we're look, gonna look for either a farm currently for sale or a place where we can start a farm. Start building it up. Um, I have four sites selected already. Uh, each person's at one site. I'll walk you through each site and we'll kind of decide what we want. Uh, again, we'll, most of these will have to take out loans. Some of them, we could buy the farmland and we could possibly lease the farm. The actual, actual acreage will be farming around it. So that might save us some money in the future. But we'll first start with Mike over here. So this farmland is up here. It's going to be surrounded by field eight. Um, just the the farmstead, we'll call it, uh, is currently at auction for 21,000, a little over 21,000. It's four and a half acres roughly included in this. You have a nice house, nice little farmhouse with the attached garage. You have three pretty large storage bins. It looks like they're all connected with a little pit. So that would be nice. Uh, one bad thing is there's no dryer here. And unfortunately with um, with the mods I have, the only way to do that to get a dryer is through Global Company, which is going to be this big complex. $325,000 for it. This does have the grain dryer in there. I don't have any other mods that will work properly. I'll be able to dry the corn just to, to have a dryer separately. So that's what we'll have to go with. Unless we just want to sell wet corn, which is takes it's a pretty big profit loss. So drying the corn is definitely going to be something that we're going to be looking for. So I talked with the owners of this property already. They're letting us walk around and check out the property. Um, pretty much where the grass is is what we would have. You get a fuel tank and then you get two pole buildings. This building right here is split into two. Good size building. It's got an overhead door right here that will connect the two spots. So definitely some good tractor storage there. And another, both sides have concrete floors. Definitely a nice little building here. Uh, everything on the property will come. So they do have this John Deere plow sitting out back. And then you get this pole barn here that also has, all right, nice little John Deere articulating tractor, an 8960. Looks to be in great shape. Oh, yeah, definitely. Almost looks like it just came off the assembly line. So definitely a nice little piece of equipment here that will come with it. does have GPS, it looks like. Starts right up. That's positive. Better turn that off before uh, the owners come out and ask me what I'm doing. So that will come with the property. That's a great little uh, added bonus to it. Uh, the story with this farmstead, per se, uh, it's been in the family for generations. They farmed it. They were a decent-sized farming operation there for a while, but uh, the newer generations, unfortunately, just, just got away from farming. So uh, they did have an auction here recently before we came to town where they sold off the majority of the property, um, and including the farm fields and most of the equipment. These two things, they did sell, but the, the buyer fell through, so they were stuck with them. 
so that will go with this actual farmstead. So not a bad property, and for only around twenty something thousand dollars, you get a or currently at auction. It could go up, but uh, I'd be surprised if it didn't. But you never know. Uh, but it's definitely a decent little farmstead. Option number two is down here, and it includes field 29. So it's 120 acres for 584,000. A little out of our budget, but again, we're going to be taking loans to start it. So if we get a great property, we might just have to skimp a little bit on the equipment. Not really sure yet, but it's something we're going to have to look into. So you get field 29 which is here, you get all this wooded area down here. There's also um, kind of an open grass field with a trailer, uh, a pretty decrepit trailer. We probably won't be using it. Uh, there are renters, I believe, in it now, but they're not paying a whole lot, and if you saw the trailer, you'd know why. So eventually we'll probably be taking that out, destroying it. Uh, it'd be a great spot to uh, build a house. You get a creek that runs right through here. Um, but what I'm mostly interested in is this house right here. Great house. Looks like it's it's not a new house, but it looks like they've definitely kept up with it and kept it nice. Uh, you have this large grass field here, which could be used for a little expansion. Add a building there. Uh, you get this pole barn here. Um, these guys aren't home right now, so I don't want to be walking too much on their property. But there is a ton of lumber. And I'm pretty sure it all goes with the sale. But the way lumber prices are, that could save us a lot of money currently, uh, especially if we're gonna build a new pole barn. A lot of this lumber we could probably use. So we'll be able to keep that in mind. That could be uh, pretty cost effective in the future. Um, there are some logs here, nothing we're gonna do with that. And then there's a ton of logs back there. Uh, some big old logs too. Not sure what we would do with that. Maybe make a log cabin out of them if it's good wood uh, but that's not really what I'm going to be basing purchasing this property off of if we choose to go with this property so it's something to keep in mind but all this lumber is kind of a big deal so it's definitely piquing my interest uh, Frank's going to wait around until the owners get home and see if they're going to let him walk do a walkthrough third option is going to be way over here on the right side of the map over here by field 41. So this will include the house across the street, the building and the grain storage. It's about 79 acres, $385,000. Um, you get field 41, which is a decent size field. All this area right here is, a gra is all grass. Um, why they didn't till it and farm it also, I'm not sure. Um, but there's a little path that heads down to, it crosses a little creek and a little gravel bridge it looks like they made themselves, um, which will probably have to be reinforced eventually or redone. Uh, and it, that cruises down to field 46. Field 46, 326,000 for 67 acres. And the yield potential, only 91%. So, I mean, I don't see it being big money. What I would be most interested if we were over here is field 25. 146 acres for 711,000. So, and it's a big old rectangle farm or, you know, field. So that would make it pretty easy to actually farm. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, looking at the buildings, uh, just a little house, not bad. You know, I'm well, not sure if it's big enough to raise a full family in, but it's not bad. So uh, you get three rather large. Uh, grain bins, you get two soup cups and a GSI. The GSI looks like you're going to need an auger to load it, but it has the auger already attached right to the right of it. To unload it, the two soup cups you're going to need an auger to load it and unload it, and that tall one is going to be one big old auger, so that's going to be a price expenditure right off the bat. Also, there's no grain drying here, so we would have to put in a grain dryer if we're looking to sell um, dried grain, especially dry corn. Uh, it comes with this building. Um, my my knowledge is that this is a uh, husband and wife that are selling the property. The husband has a current business where um, he uses the grain bins to store grain for the local farmers, and he also has a grain transport business. So I'm not sure how big that is. 
or anything, but my understanding is they're selling it all as is. All the equipment that they have is going with it also. Uh, I believe the augers have already been sold to local farmers. He was helping out his buddies or something like that, but I'm not totally sure what's all in the barns, but if there is equipment in there, that would be part of the sale. So um, a couple things I liked about it. It's got grain storage and a lot of it, but we would need the um, a dryer. The building seems to be a decent sized building. Could probably store a lot of equipment in there. Uh, but all this grass area, we could either till it and farm it, which would definitely increase that field size, uh, or I see it as an expansion possibly. We need to put more buildings up, more grain bins, whatever it is. This, this site definitely has the potential to expand. And our fourth option is over here with Doug. That's the bottom left of the map. And this will include field 30, 31, and 32. So this is 185 acres. Not a bad size. Not all of it's uh, farm field though. So you, um, if we zoom out here, this is all pasture right here. I'll kind of walk you over there. Um, and then this is wooded and this is a creek that cuts through it. So not all of it's tillable, uh, but still decent size. You get three different fields would probably if we're able to maybe connect some of them and see what we can do. Uh, but price-wise, you're looking at uh, 900000 pretty much. So quite the expense, uh, quite the expense, but you get this home that looks like it's recently been remodeled. It's been kept up, nice little gardening. Um, you get this garage. You get this garage right here, nice little pole barn. Uh, everything here and all the equipment here will stay. Uh, the story with this place is it was a husband and wife. The, uh, they don't. They never had any cattle. That was the previous owners that they bought the property from. Uh, the husband was a big car guy, uh, and unfortunately he passed away. So the wife is just selling it as an estate sale. Again, everything here stays. And just looking in through the garage. Looks like you got a decent size three axle enclosed trailer and a big tex big tex gooseneck over there. So um, two decent trailers that would come with it, and I there's a separated part of the building in the back, but I don't see anything back there. So we'll cruise over to the rest of the property. Obviously, here's part of the fields. It looks like you can actually expand that tillage part and make it a little bit bigger. I don't know why they have so much grass unless they were. So get this very large driveway coming back to what used to be a cattle operation. Uh, obviously here's the pasture right up here. We'll drive on up here. This is the pasture. Still got the, uh, I think that's the, where they'll throw the hay in there and feed the cattle. If you guys want me to do it, I'll try to do some cattle. If we get this property, haven't quite decided yet, uh, but it's something to keep in mind. So you get this nice long building in the back, two little open storage areas, and then I'm guessing they put a, try to do silage in this, uh, the three concrete walls there. I'm not totally sure. Again, I don't do animals that often, but um, some feeding stuff there, uh, but not a decent sized building. It looks like an older building, that an old Morton building that probably was used to house the cattle, I'm not really sure. So I'm not sure what the inside's in, or what the what's inside of it, and what the insides look like. So again, um, you know, this property still is currently being used. It's owned by that house over there, and they're not letting anybody just walk around anytime. So maybe um, Doug here can go talk to the owners and get a uh, get a walkthrough of it and see what's there. Um, Again, that's an estate sale, so everything is being sold as is. It's just you pay the price, you get the property and anything on it. Buildings, any equipment that's there, any feeders, cattle stuff. Again, I saw the two trailers in this building for sure. Right here, I'm not sure what's in any of the other buildings. So those are the four options that I think are going to be our best options that we have to decide from. So. If you guys have any suggestions, uh, throw them in the comment section. Hopefully you guys enjoy the series. Uh, if you guys have any uh, suggestions, uh, critiques, or anything like that, anything you'd like to see also, 
I'll throw that in the comment section also. Um, again, I'm going to try to do a little bit kind of realistic and a little bit of a role play, but there are going to be some elements that clearly aren't realistic, but we'll try to do our best, okay? Again, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoy.